Welcome to Tech Support Tuesday, where every Tuesday I make a tech support video showing you how to do new things each and every week. This week I'm going to go ahead and show you how to upgrade the firmware on a Netgear ProSafe 24 port GS728 TPP switch. So now we're going to come over to Google and search for that particular model number and the word firmware. Then come on over to the main page on Netgear's website. And at the top here, go ahead and click on Downloads. Now here we can see the firmware version, which is 6.0.1.30. And here we can see that it is 6.0.1.18, which is currently installed. So coming back over to the Netgear website, we'll click on it to expand it. Click on Download. Once it is downloaded, then we'll go ahead and extract it out. And you can see there are two files inside of that zip file. Now here are the release notes, and this basically just says what was fixed or added. And now we're coming over to maintenance, and then click on download, and then HTTP file download, then click on download, and then HTTP file download. We keep it as archive, and then click on choose file. Now from here we just go ahead and navigate to the uncompressed uh, file here in the folder that we just uncompressed everything to, and then hit apply. Now we'll wait for the file name to disappear on the screen and that's when you know that it has finished uploading to the switch. Now that we see that it says no file chosen for the select file, we know that it has finished uploading the firmware to the switch. Now returning to the main menu, we're going to go ahead and click on maintenance again. Then we go ahead and click on file management. Then we click on dual image status and you can see the second image has the newer firmware and the first image has the older firmware. So then click on dual image configuration and set the image to the second image because that is the newer image. Then tick the box here for activate image and then click on apply. Now we're going to go ahead and click on reset and then we go ahead and tick this box here to apply and reboot and then click on apply and then okay.